All right, well, we've put all of our gear together for our torch set. Um, we've got a number one tip on there. We've set our regulators for a number one tip, uh, tip, which is three to five, which we set both of our oxygen and settling regulators on the flow for four. So we don't overdrive our tip. You'll find a lot of the old timers guys that get out there and they think they know a lot of stuff. They don't even set the regulators and they get up on their work and their flame keeps popping out or the flame gets sucked down through the uh, tip um, into the base and you have to turn. Anyway, we've got everything set up right. Wherever we're going to strike our torch, first thing we want to do is crack our oxygen just a little bit and then our settling and then strike. What this does is it keeps us from having so much soot. If you fire up your acetylene first, acetylene is a very nasty gas. It can burn on its own and it will just have a whole bunch of black soot and it'll be uh, little black soot balls all over the place and, you, and that's not professional. Easy, turn on your oxygen just a little bit. Then you're acetylene and then strike the torch. Okay, we have our inner cone right here, and I'm going to bring a little feather out on it. Watch to see that outer feather, I'm going to bring that out a little bit. When you're grazing the small stuff, the working part of our flame is right here. Just past that second little feather that we put there. Okay, so our working flame is right here. Then when you're done working with your torch, if you go with bigger stuff on a small tip, you can increase your settling. Uh, back on our oxygen, the feather in. The bigger the bigger the copper, the bigger the flame. I'm going to set this one way up. That is testing. We have our air cone, we have our feathers. This is the working part of our flame. This is where we want to have our material. Then, when we get done working with our oxygen settling, we turn off our settling first, then our oxygen. No soot.